Hello, beautiful people. How are you today? So, um, I did part one of the CIA's method of what they call the straight jacket. So I'm going to get a little bit more in depth into this system because I want um, people that program to really understand what it is. Now, I want people to understand modern day science for number one. Just wrap your head around nanotechnology that you don't understand. And please admit that to yourself because you've seen it, what, in Transformers or other TV stuff, but do you really understand? And for the most part, unless you're a scientist, the answer is no, you don't. So, understand this. They program it, they use it, they make it. It is microscopic. Do you know what that means? It cannot be seen with the normal human eye. The normal human eye cannot see these things. Royal Rife invented a microbiotic telescope to see into cells. He was the first to do it, and he wasn't a doctor. He was a technician that discovered the cure for cancer in the 1940s, and his own invention called a telescope microbiotic telescope is not even in the so-called medical science museums now these are scientific facts so i want you to understand nanotechnology and what they do to hide even blatant stuff like the guy that invented a microbiotic telescope which we wouldn't even be able to look into cells if his technology did not exist. Royal Rife. If you don't know about him, please look him up. So here's another fact. People really need to understand GMO and chemtrails and programmable black matter. What it is. These three things, they all coincide with each other. They all work against you. Point blank, there are mechanisms and a system designed to kill you. Silently, secretly, while experimenting on it. And while they're keeping track of it and documenting it and encoding it and taking whatever they want from whatever you think or from whatever button they push to make you do this, to, to make you do that, and how you respond to this, and how you respond to that. Facebook and Google, DARPA, psychological, synthetic games, psychological, synthetic telepathy, B2K, whatever you wanna call it, voice of fraudulent evil God, NASA's satellite that's actually called S.A.T. T dot A dot N dot It's like satellite array tracking system Satan, you know? I'm not kidding. These are facts. These are actual facts. So this system was put in place to do what Satanists do. What do they do? What, what do Satanists do? They're witches, okay? Point blank. What does a witch do? A witch finds uh, something to feed on because they are soulless, heartless vampires. Point blank. So if you could give a witch a system so it could feed on like whoever it wants or feed on masses amounts of people, do you think the witch would say no or continue to do it? And then just get habitually out of control doing it. So when you eat GMO, you are taking in programmable black matter. It's called black goo. Now what the American government has done, if you don't know about ancient Chinese 
Black magic? Well, I'm not going to say black magic. I'm going to say evil magic. You know, that was designed and made to kill Kung Fu Masters. And to take control of Kung Fu Masters. I mean, Masters. They took the black goo and hybridized it with this. Which it's spelled black, G-U. And you can go on Wikipad and read about it. Please do. Black, G-U, black goo, under Chinese medicine. So the U.S. government hybridized this mind control ninja assassin drug. And I'm not kidding. They've always used it. Come on. So then they mix it with black goo, which is spelled B-L, you know, A-C-K-G-O-O, which became a hybrid of the original black goo. So then they introduced programs into this stuff. And they call it programmable black matter. Now, the origins of the government black matter that they mixed in with the black um, evil magic black goo you know Chinese poison stuff so the hybridized black matter that they mixed in with the actual black goo and then got their version of assassin black matter well you can kind of guess what happened after that and this is technically scientifically what happened So they took this stuff and they made particles of it and put it in nanites. I'm not kidding. Now, if you don't know what a nanite is, if you really want to get traversed or whatever you want in nanotechnology, I'm going to tell you where to look. Go look at Berkeley. They're the leading people in nanotechnology and experimentation and borderline like do you guys have any fucking ethics <laughs> you know Berkeley <laughs> so anyway just putting the real science out there where it's really coming from and then it goes from Berkeley guess where guess where people she wants you to vote for her she uh, raped Laurel Aston. her husband raped Laurel Aston, and her husband actually got um, implemented in the case that involves an island, children, royal members of the family, and um, Interpol is after their asses. That's right. That's right. So um, I'm talking about um, Miss uh, Hill Dog, Miss um, Crooked Kingpin Clinton. That's right. <laughs> so it goes to uh, her Air Force base in uh, Arkansas where they continue the experimentation and get that stuff all Kim trailed up. That's right. So uh, you can thank uh, Hill Dog for that shit. And then they distribute it back to uh, all the uh, military bases. Oh, and uh, hey guys. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. I think we got Clinton over here. She's saying they got a DEFCON one. Oh shit, they better. They're gonna. They're about to spray <laughs> over my house. It is just that easy. I'm serious. No, I'm being dead serious. So, just to give you a rundown how it really works, um, DEFCON 1, um, Raytheon says there needs to be aluminum barbarium and nanomites in the air because uh, the aluminum barbarium nanomites need to stick to the uh, missiles that might uh, hit Houston because uh, we have a bunch of KKK in Houston, Texas, near NASA. And there seems to be a guy that's figured out our racist KKK system and he's talking about it. So we need to spray everybody and make them forget. Seriously, that's how it goes. And this is how they think. They're psychopaths. I mean, they do it all the time. They don't do anything new. I mean, it's like that habitual. So chemtrails, nanomites, then they get the programming, and then the cool thing, I guess, you get the updated nano stuff, higher technology from Berkeley, man, all the way from Little Rock, Arkansas, Hill Dog Clinton, you know, running the Gulf Sonola Cartel, 
from hell. So uh, yeah, you get all that stuff. It's great, huh? It's really great. <clears throat> so these are scientific facts that um, here's one you're gonna like that Blackwater doesn't want you to ignore. That's right. That's right. Why doesn't Blackwater want you to ignore it? Well, because Blackwater is a bunch of killers and they're assassins. Real assassins. Blackwater. That's right. I'm talking to Blackwater. That's right. I'm addressing Blackwater. Not not the uh, river that was illegally taken by the American government watched over by Whiting KKK Air Force Base. I'm not talking about that Blackwater River that y'all stole and you're going to get your asses kicked off that land, Whiting, KKK Air Force Base. Anyway, so I'm talking to Blackwater that was built off of Operation Black Desk, actually. That's where you guys get your teachings from. Um, and Operation Black Desk was built off the assassination of uh, Martin Luther King, um, Malcolm X, they even used JFK agents for that. I mean, that Blackwater, if you guys don't know your history, I'm telling you your history, bitches. So, Blackwater, those guys, um, who I believe pulled off the uh, terrorist attack in Paris, and I've got more evidence on it, and I sent it to the French for Legion 2, um, <clears throat> that Blackwater, I'm talking to you, <clears throat> um, Obama <clears throat> gave them the legal right to come in see now they can come in and kill me that's right they can come in right now and shoot me legally because obama the closet president that single-handedly like we have not had a female as a first lady since he's been in office wants me to shut up so he passed some laws saying um if i talk about this stuff in the United States like I'm doing right now and then put it on a place like YouTube or Facebook or some social media Blackwater can come in and kill me and assassinate me and shoot me and kill me because I'm talking about Monsanto's now Monsanto's let me tell you what GMO is people and I want you to really wrap your head around the science now, I made some jokes about the chemtrails. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to make you laugh, but you know, it's just really, these people are so sick. And this is the simple science of it. It's not that complex. So, GMO. It first starts out as people, if you have not seen this film, The Corporation, please do yourself a favor. Take two hours out of your freaking life, sit down and watch this movie as many times as you can. And when you get an impulse to watch your stupid bullshit series or something you've seen like five times, 10,000 times, whatever, watch this movie. It is highly educational and it will help you understand facts. It is Emmy Award winning. It's called The Corporation. Now, at the time of the making of this movie, they talk about Monsanto's, they talk about uh, bovine and the poisoning of milk and how Canada, which which um, I'm not going to be secret, I'm planning to go to Canada because um, I, I'm sick of having my rights violated. And Canada seems to be a pretty cool place that really takes care of people. Maybe like me, so I'm planning on going to Canada. So I'm announcing that like publicly, okay? So these people had an expose talking about GMO, okay? They didn't know it was GMO at the time, but I'm gonna say it's GMO because that's what it was. So I'm not gonna get too far into it. When you get into the milk part of it and how they really poisoned America and what they knowingly did, and then they fired two really great Fox reporters to keep it quiet. So not only should this tell you that the TV people, heavily complicit, not only should this tell you that our government, heavily complicit on human experimentation and poisoning our milk supply. Fact. So if you haven't seen the corporation, please take two hours out of your time and watch it. It's a, it's not a lie. 
is so old. I think it's like 2002 when it came out. Maybe 2003. I'm not sure. But anyway. So it talks about GMO and how Monsanto's first started human experimentation on milk. Point blank. And how it was covered up. And how it's still covered up, point blank, even by people like Obama. But he wasn't the first. Okay? He wasn't the first. But he was actually the first to say, okay, if you do what I'm doing right now, um, I can send Blackwater, a, a, an assassin team, to kill you. Legally. And passed a law saying he has a legal right to do it because I'm trying to educate people because... Uh, I don't want to see people die and, and continue to be ignorant and fill your bodies with poison and not understand what's going on and how easy it is to create a poison in your life by putting a little piece of black matter in your shoulder and causing you stress every day and that stress turns into what? So many medical problems. You can't imagine. So I'm talking about pressure points, applying pressure with program black matter, cutting off organ supply, air supply in your spine, your 13 spinal columns, you know, that can be what clogged by programmable black goo that if you know Chinese and you know where to hit a person in the spine, if you know directly what spine, what vertebrae to hit a person, which I do. You can what, cut their breathing. You can knock them out. There's a lot of things you can do. I'm talking about ancient Chinese known techniques that these guys have actually programmed into programmable black matter to tell it what to do. Now, they weren't the first to do it and to do stuff like this. The first people to command like black goo technically were witches to do stuff like this. Seriously, it's some ancient deadly assassin shit. It just is what? It's designed to kill people. It, first of all, point blank. Even before they hybridized it and turned it into what you eat. Seriously. So the system, I, I want you to understand the straitjacket. Now you're starting to get your head wrapped around it. Okay. Now, here is um, something for the common person to understand. Programmable black matter. Okay. Say you have an interface, a liquid cooled interface. That's a hard interface that you take the first matter in, whatever with some computer or it, it accepts ones and zeros and you have your programs, whatever, packets and your encoding. So you send that code and tell the black matter to form the shape of say a cup. And you program the circumference of a cup, the circulars of a cup, but using ones and zeros and it responds and it takes the form of a cup. Now when you go into witchcraft, you know, if you were to take some, I don't know, black matter or black goo and tell it to form a cup or a spear and then chunk it at somebody and it really pierces them, that's black evil magic. So whichever way you want to look at this science or alchemy or alchemy into science or science back into alchemy, whatever, it is what it is. And I want you to understand it. So it's about programming. Now, the program that I'm talking about now is straitjacket. Now, they coined it straitjacket because it is an operation. Designed to make people look crazy. Designed to destabilize people. Designed to destabilize their family. Designed to keep them broke. Designed to keep them in and out of their hospitals. 
designed to keep them um, medicated and their stuff in their system, even especially if they don't eat GMO. So not only that, then the goo in the system is told to form a straight jacket. A straight jacket is designed basically if you were to bind a Chinese master, how would you bind a Chinese master's power in his strip? Huh? Because this is what the whole war between dark masters and good masters has always been about trying to get the master, the ancient wise master weak enough so you can kill him this is what the original black goo, black GU was designed for so say Chun Tzu wanted Xiao Min's property, his domain how are you going to do it? well Chun Tzu paid some ninjas to go in and poison you know who's you know tea and on that day attack him so then the two masters meet and the one master had drank his tea that morning <laughs> and it's over for him and that's it It is simply like that, strategically. Always has been. <laughs> but people don't like get it like that. It's like that. So the American government has hybridized this and used it as a programmable, untraceable thought to be, um, slow torture, slow soft kill system. Designed with synthetic telepathy. Encrypted by Echelon and Tempest and also heavily used by them too. Now, if you don't know what Echelon and Tempest is, let me explain to you, and these are facts, people, what Echelon is. Echelon has been around since 1954. Seriously. If you want to talk about programming and where it began. A lot of things began in the U.S. in 1954, huh? Well... Echelon did. That's right. That's right. I'm not talking about the other stuff. And no, I don't believe in coincidences. And in this case, there are none. So Echelon, can, this is what it does. Now, it's a super spy computer that uses spy electro encrypted magnetic pulse array pings supposedly untraceable that's what it first used now what is this okay well a ping comes from the method of a submarine sitting on a ping, 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 ping. now in between each beep they would see and they would read what came back in between the pings and then there were guys that could read in between the pings and see what was down there. Now they took this method and applied it to electricity and an electronic ping. So if they send an electronic ping at your house, what it does is it sends an electronic pulse into your whole house and then with Echelon at the back end sends another ping back to Echelon and Echelon can make a whole entire live, real-time, electronic makeup of what's going on in your house. Period. Now, what can Echelon see? Just about nothing and everything, you know, so the thought to be until the Russians figured out like what the U.S. were doing with Echelon and then Echelon had to get militant and then they built Tempest. I'm not really sure what Tempest is for, boom boom, but um, I don't know. Tempest is just a secret. Who knows what it could be about? I'm not sure. Boom boom. But um, you know, Tempest and Echelon are both a super assassin computers and head of the auto algorithm um, encrypted 
Ah, uh, system. So, there's a little um, information about what controls the black goo, programs the black goo, and why the encryption system through uh, smart meters is uh, hooked up to uh, Boo Boo and um, Tempest and Echelon and DARPA and Facebook and Google. It's like one big happy family. I mean, either way you turn, they're always looking up your... I can't say that. But you know what I mean. So anyway, <clears throat> there's the truth right there. Do you understand it? I, I hope so. I really hope so. I hope you get it. It's not that hard. Ancient Chinese assassin dumbasses hybridized some ancient shit that killed Chinese masters and they gave it to a kid called Copernicus that was Nika Gadu's little kid that was mad because he thought to chaos killed his daddy which he didn't arrogance killed his daddy I was just there to see it and laugh about it <laughs> so then Nika Gadu's kid Copernicus starts making songs about me on YouTube because his daddy paid everybody not to book me in Romania because I was the best DJ and I'm living out in the snow making videos about Niku, Nico in front of all his places. I mean, okay, you can't imagine like how many Romanians considered me a legend because I did this in front of Niku's businesses because he paid and threatened all of Romanian club owners not to book me. There's no DJ in Romania that could beat me. If there is, what? I'll give him everything I own. There's no DJ that'll touch me. And they knew that. Period. So then you had the best DJ in Romania that was on TV doing interviews a lot. <laughs> The new DJ Docs, Parazitsi, what? Buppy, what's up? It's Wesley Snipes' stunt double. All the guys that I know, I, I'm not going to even get into Cosmine and all the graffiti guys that I know. And how much Tom Boxer really owes me and who's a real killer and a kidnapper. It's a beautiful day, huh? Can I have that money, Tom? And who's a real thief? Romanian thieves so when it gets into Romania and what they did to me and these stupid fucking gypsies and Niku's kid makes a band call it the chaos and then starts singing the most horrible music about me because oh I'm thinking every day that I'm on the streets I'm gonna die prepared to die waking up with a guy some fucking gypsy that's man enough to come with a fucking gun and put it in me every fucking day ready for that in Romania and then I have some stupid piece of shit like rich scum of the scum bullshit kid come running op on me getting trained by Lawrence Dean O'Brien that is Kill Bill that is the Bill from Kill Bill his character was made after Bill. That's Laurel Aston's handler. The guy that trained her from sent her to her master, her Kung Fu master. That's Lawrence Dean O'Brien trained Copernicus to come after me. Niku's piece of shit kid. So hey Copernicus, you really should have changed your codes and not use your stupid fucking name because what? You thought nobody was gonna know it? Not even your mother calls you this stupid fucking name. So, the straight jacket. This gypsy Copernicus, okay, the CIA gave him encryption to keep casting the straight jacket on me. What is it? It is something designed to kill Kung Fu Chinese masters. I am, am I Kung Fu Chinese master? Maybe I am, but I'm not dead yet. 
I'm alive to talk about the system. And the person that did it, fashion TV, and they say, oh, Niku, let me explain to you something about encryption and about Nika Gadu. Not talking about the Nika Gadu, the bald one, you know, that has the Facebook. There was like, oh, Niku's alive. No, nope. they paid that white Romanian gypsy piece of shit to act like Niku. They pay him a lot of money to live that lifestyle. So the real Niku and the Gadu family, the gypsies, the witches, the necromongers, can live however they want, inconspicuous. No one touches them. Seriously. So the Intel guys that are listening to this know I know my shit. Whether the civilians listening to this understand this, eh, whatever. I have no need to lie. I don't waste time. It's too important. So this gypsy piece of shit with the Sonola cartel and Hillary Clinton, Stephen Binion, Lawrence Dean O'Brien, J.P. Morgan, huh? Has anybody seen J.P. Morgan money laundering on my video channel? Please watch it. It's funny. They sent a dog to bite me, and oh my god, two months later I have a heart attack. Oh, gosh. Really? Was that Blackwater, Sonola? Huh? Is that all you got? Blackwater? Sonola? Cops? Oh. One fact, cops. Fact that you need to know. Sonola. Cartel. They sent him by the shitloads, truckloads to the United States and Texas. Fact. Fact number two. You need to ask the Mexican military about the cops in, say, Cancun. They all work for the cartel. Last time I looked, there was an article that said, what, 90% of cops and under work for the cartel in Mexico. Now, fact. DEA made a deal with El Chapo, who just escaped, by the way, from Mexican authorities. Go figure. <laughs> DEA made a deal with El Chapo to narc out all the Zetas and everybody else in Mexico, which he did, but he really did. He made deals with them. He's not stupid. <laughs> so anyway, that's El Chapo. So then the DEA said this. Well, yeah, we'll run an Operation Clip Paper on the Mexicans. What's Operation Clip Paper? Operation Clip Paper came from the Vril. Then through the Thule, then from the Thule to the Nazis, then the Nazi scientists to the KKK, and then by the time it got into the KKK, the KKK was told with the skull and bones to form the CIA, and by the time the CIA made it public, but not public, it was called Operation Paperclip. New names, new identities, some new faces, obscene bank accounts, you can't believe it, huh? So, the DEA ran this with the CIA, who's already with Clinton and the Bushes, part of the Gulf Cartel anyway. So the DEA ran this deal with El Chapo. So the Sonola Cartel got the legal right to come over to the United States. New names, new identities. Everything clean. That's including their cops. So hey cops, get any new cartel cops? But hey, wasn't a lot of the cops already cartel anyway? <laughs> Seriously. So I get bit by a metro who I strongly believe to be a cartel cop. $40,000 in damages and don't touch the people asking for my money. And yes, I want my money so I can go to Canada. So I can't have people stalking me all the time like they do. And people knowingly put threats on me because what I want to save my family and my friends and say, hey guys, Please don't eat GMO. It's already killed enough people in our family. That's all, but nobody gets, I love this food. Really? That has heck 52 in it. What's that? Oh, it's stem cells. Dead baby parts, you like drinking that? 
Really? Yeah, please read about it. It's sick. They're necromongers. They want you to be like them. What's a necromonger? People that eat flesh. Cannibals. Point blank. This is what I'm up against and trying to like knock people's heads up against the wall saying, hey, these are the witches. This is their technology. Please understand it. Stop supporting it. They hurt kids. They hurt women. <laughs> Habitually. Don't support them. And then they come after me and they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll just push some buttons. Chemtrails. Okay, yeah. Okay, got it. Got his frequency. Got oh. Magnetic field full infiltration. All oh, right. And stay straight jacket. Now, what's a straight jacket? When they get chemtrails in your system, per se, on all your pressure points where you hit somebody as a martial artist to detain them, to hit them at energy points, to make them feel fatigue, to make them feel weak. Well, design a, a, a goo system that hits people on these exact parts of their body at a pressure point, microscopic level, and then call it a straight jacket and then apply certain pressures here and there and then make it look natural. That's a straight jacket. Programmable black matter. It's something new, something old, but it's wicked. Always has been. This is the science. They put it in your food to coincide with your smart meters, your computers, synthetic telepathy, V2K. They over mask your inner voice. And you don't know it because you've never heard it clearly. Have you ever heard your inner voice clearly? No. Because it's always sound like this. Hey dude, what's up? What you thinking? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh man, come on. Let's go. And then, Ed, just when you sleep, it takes control. It's called subcon. Subcon's sole objective is a specific piece of black matter program to stick where, guys? Where does it go, huh? It clogs up your chi. Point blank. That's subcon. So that part is the single most important part. Then from subcon, guess where subcon goes? Subcon starts to form a adrenaline belting system. That's right. Why an adrenaline belting system? Because it needs to form something around all your nervous systems down there in a circular motion into the two pressure points on your back. Now, ladies, these pressure points, I'm going to get real about these pressure points. I love these pressure points, man. And when I found out about what they're doing, I just want to kill these fuckers. Seriously. Now, for you ladies that have those two dimples on your back, I love those dimples. They're great. This says a lot of things about women, okay? If a woman has these two dimples on your back, and ladies, you know what dimples I'm talking about on your back, lower back. It says they're very happy, sexually active, very... You should know how to... They're very... You should know how to please these women. That's what I'm going to say to that extent. Those dimples are actually your adrenal dimples too so those are very much the biggest place attacked by subcon that's where subcon anchors itself for the whole straitjacket system that is designed by goo now let me paint a picture say a ninja is using their straitjacket system but with ninja darts Okay? How's he gonna take you out and kill you? Hit you in these two spots. <laughs> you're dead. With two ninja darts, you're dead. If, if you get hit in these two spots. <laughs> Seriously. And that's a fact. So I'm telling you, Subcon anchors itself 
blocks off your chi, starts ciphering your chi through your, what, adrenals, those two spots, and then forms shit up your back, and then in your shoulder blades, and then your shoulders. And then starts attacking your system from there, and then your 13 spinal columns up to, guess where? <gasps> oh my god! Your midbrain, that's right. Did you know about your midbrain? Do you even think you have a midbrain? You do. Then, you know, to your midbrain, penile gland, and then your forward brain, and then your lobes. Then you're just pretty much screwed. But this is the straight jacket. Mind control, synthetic telepathy, programmable, black moon. Or, did I say black moon? Well, I'm thinking of cows and milk. <laughs> black goo system. So, thanks for your time. Understand the system. I try not to make it too long and get too in depth. I hope you enjoyed the jokes. Watch JP Morgan. Please donate to my GoFundMe at GoFundMe Zacchaeus. You know, that's it. I'm there. You know, my stuff's up there. I do this for free. They just tried to kill me. I had like a stroke and three heart attacks. I consider that like four heart attacks, but whatever. I'm still here. <laughs> so anyway, Blackwater, Houston Metro. Was it an attack? Did you put something in my system to two months later to make it look like a heart attack? Well, it doesn't matter. It looks like it is. And if it looks like a duck, probably was a duck and this happened after I did my JP Morgan money laundering video oh. was it a coincidence no it wasn't not really it wasn't a coincidence at all it was like sheer cartel threat I'm talking about the Kazarian mob coke heads of Metro that here's a fact I'm gonna leave it at this Metro here's some facts about Metro Jimmy Burge Michael real coke heads Bob Lanier coke heads metro head execs coke heads how can i prove it like this look at the freeways look at what metro has done to houston ask any minority person that rides these horrific buses they suck the train that they put in above ground is an abomination because metro has been using its money to fund the underground why so they could control above ground Houston and have people sitting in traffic longer. Why? Raytheon? Why harp? Well, because if you have people sitting in traffic at say 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock in the morning, their cars can act as mini harp Raytheon array systems and mess with the weather because they're hooked up through XM. This is their technology. And then you have these people hooked up to Black Matter. Oh. Which they're already being monitored through your system. It doesn't stop. These are facts. Metro. That you didn't want me to talk about? Houston, settle out of court. You're going to hear a lot worse. Your days are numbered. All of them. Fact. I'm not your prisoner. I'm not your slave, Masons. Good luck if you make it out of this one. You don't have a system. That's what this is about. So, you don't even have your straight jacket. And you know how much Copernicus, the name, straight jacket, subcon, is going to lead to so many holes in your encryption, you will never fix it Nazis never so that's how far your gypsies and your stupid Sonola cartel got you trying to run it out because you didn't want to get your hands dirty you just wanted to see me die off like some poor stupid Negro huh well here's another fact hey cops why is it that you were descended from the KKK the first cops in the state of Texas evolved from the KKK and there are more black men locked up in the state of Texas than all of the states in the United States combined. 
Why is that? Is that a, it, 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 is that a coincidence? No. It's sheer fucking racism. These are facts. Here's another fact. If you live to be past 24 in the state of Texas, you're an anomaly. Why? Because black men in the state of Texas with these kind of rates, killer rates, death rates, don't live past the age 24, maximum 26. So if you don't know this and you grew up in Texas and you're older than this, welcome to the club, son. This is true. Whether you like it or not and whether you just turn on TV and want to stay ignorant to it when a cop pulls you over and wants to put a bullet in you because of the color of your skin and doesn't even know why it doesn't even care you might want to take a little bit more time to study right instead of watching tv and get prepared to combat these racist fucks so there's your encryption you actually technically have no jurisdiction, NSA, CIA, NASA, Department of Communications, because guess what? Even your bullshit cops, they're all under the illegal charter of the Queen of England. That's right. That's why they don't read you your rights anymore when they arrest you, because they have no rights. They don't care anymore, like they ever did. So people need to really get educated to what's going on and what the TV that they own are telling you. Nothing but lies. So understand, they were all under the charter that hasn't been legal since 2011. This is the Wild Wild West. And they know it, but you don't. Here's another fact, my mafia fact. You pay taxes on your work. Aaron Sharon made a movie called American Fascism, exposing this fact that you continue to do. He's dead. And you continue to pay work on your tax and people like Wesley Snipes stood up to this fact because he knew it too, but still they put him in jail because of little tricky laws in California. That's so racist because it's run by the KKK, Nazi, CIA. So the IRS is a completely mafia, strong arm establishment. Every penny, everything that they've confiscated has been illegal. It has been based off a law that doesn't exist. If you don't believe me, Google an IRS agent talks about show me the law. Show me the law, they can't show you the law because it doesn't exist, but the IRS enforces a law that doesn't exist. That's why they exist for the Mafia, Cartel, Kazarian, Rothschild, wins for Clinton, Bush, 13 satanic pedophile bloodlines. Fact. So if you don't know about the secret war, this is the secret war. So CIA and NSA, you don't have any jurisdiction over anything because you're technically owned by the witch that doesn't own anything because her excuse to say, oh my God, I'm broke. I'm actually really illegal now um, was, okay, hey, William, marry your cousin, the, the goldsmith one, Kate. <laughs> and they did, and now they had an inbred kid this is how sick they are. So these are facts. Whether you like it or not, this is what they did. So MI5, MI6, NSA, CIA, DARPA, HARP, they're all owned by the witch. So this is Wild Wild West. Party goers, happy hunting. If you don't know about parties, welcome to the party. I am the chaos. Tell it like it is. Enjoy the video. Stay intelligent. Keep it real. Ladies, keep it real. Stay beautiful. Stay intelligent. And stay away from idiots. Peace.